Yo, yo, what's up, my friends and family? Once again, crisis the head of the public team, you guys. Coming from Children's Hospital, Oakland, California. Once again, I am here to pray over many sick children in Jesus Christ. Mighty man, also here with this announcement. I pray with you for that in Jesus Christ's mighty name, that by his foot, he is willing to heal the heart of Isaiah from the first time. He tells us that he was willing to cry to his He is willing to cry to him. He sets out our physical to find him. And by his Christ, you are healed. And she says, anything we pray for in his name, it shall be blood according to his will. We know we, we know that he hears us. So if you pray with me, I'm here in the authority and power of Jesus Christ. And attack back the truth of hope from the devil. Jesus Christ, my name. God, be praying with me. Always understand this. Yo, Christ handles everything. Lay out the love of Christ. Keep my mind stayed on Jesus. I ain't got no worry. No, 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 I ain't worried. Sight to the blind, control the scenes with his voice. I'm talking Jesus, of course. I guess the blood is to blame. Nah, nah, that's my father. Yeah. Dying for my sins. Rose on the third, and he's coming back again. First of everybody out there, my name is Christ Handles. The reason why my name is Christ Handles because Christ handles everything. I'm here under the power and authority of Jesus Christ. I'm here to pray over any uh, sick kid that's in the hospital. Knowing that they will be healed in Jesus Christ's mighty name. It tells us that in Isaiah 53, 5, that he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chest tower of our peace was upon him. And by his stripes, we are healed. Under the full authority and power of Jesus Christ, I believe that every kid in the hospital will be healed today in Jesus' name. I'm here to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ, to let you know that John 3, 16, 17, it says, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but out of everlasting life. Verse 17 says, God has sent his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that those that believe on him will be saved. That's 100. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, if you believe on him, you can be saved. I'm not here to flex. I'm here to walk in the love of Christ. I'm here to show you the love of Jesus. That's what my mission is in the city of Oakland. In the lives of many children, my goal is that every, every sick kid in the hospital will go home healed. In Jesus' name. Praise God. Whatever it is. COVID is not stronger than Jesus. Jesus Christ is the vaccine. He's the cure for the, for the world. You feel me? COVID is not stronger than that. Cancer. Whatever it is. Paralysis. People get raised from the dead. Whatever it is, Jesus is all powerful. Praise God. And it's not about who God is bigger. It's about we have the love of Jesus. He loves us so much in spite of our sin, according to Romans 5. According to Romans 5, 8 through 10. It says, and God expresses his love for us. That while we're yet sinners, Christ died for us. That by his life, by the life of Christ, we are saved. We are saved from the wrath of God by the life of Christ. That's how much that's how much he loves us. Watch me. Your life will be much better with Jesus. Your life will be much greater with Jesus. Your life will be more peaceful with Jesus. Not that you don't encounter the storm, you'll have peace in the midst of the storm because Jesus Christ is peace. Praise God. Jesus Christ is peace. According to Isaiah 26, verse 3. Tells us this. That he, if we keep our mind on him, he will keep us in our perfect peace. He will keep us in his perfect peace. Why? Because we trust in him. His perfect peace is everything. Praise God. Does that the peace of God which passes all understanding shall keep our hearts and minds by who? Christ Jesus. We are the victory in Christ today, y'all. So right now, I'm going to pray in Jesus Christ's mighty name over the kids in the hospital. Believing that the prayer I pray is already done. 
I don't have to see it manifest. I believe it because I trust in I trust in the power and true love of Jesus Christ. I don't have to go in there and see it manifest. I know they are healed because I believe in Jesus for it. Amen. He said, whatever we ask in his name, it will be done. He says, greater work shall you do. The work that he do, we do. And the greater work shall we do because he goes to the Father. Praise God. That's how people are saved, by lifting him up. Not lifting me up, I'm lifting Jesus up today. It's all about Jesus, you feel me? So, I'm going to pray. Dear Lord Father, come and in Jesus Christ Almighty. Thank you for your mercy and grace, Lord God. Thank you for every life of each child in the hospital. I pray right now that every sickness will be healed in your mighty name according to your word, Isaiah 53, 5. You are wonderful for our transgressions, you are wonderful for our iniquities, to test all our pieces upon you, and by your stripes we are healed. I'm praying, believing that every child will be healed from COVID, from cancer, from paralysis, from any sickness that will try to take them out, Lord God, because they are your precious children, and you have uh, ordained them to glorify your name, Lord God. Right now, I pray and I believe that they will be healed in your mighty name. Any that's not saved, I believe that they will receive you in their heart to be made whole. May be made whole for eternity, Lord God, and, and be saved so they can be in your holy eternal kingdom, which you intended for them, Lord God. Right now, I believe and receive that this prayer with power is already done, and these kids will be healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise Jesus. Praise God. Every kid will be healed today. Every kid will be healed today. I decree this in Jesus' name. I decree this in Jesus' name. Every kid will be healed. No kid is going home sick. No kid is going home paralyzed. Every kid will be healed in Jesus' name. Right now. Right now. We call any type of demonic spirit attack any of our kids out in Jesus' name and they will be healed right now. Praise God. I decree it. I decree it in Jesus' name. Hey, peep this. We taking the streets of Oakland back from the devil in Jesus' name. We'll talk. Our kids need the hope of Christ. Our kids need the hope of Christ. They need the love of Jesus in their hearts. Too much killing going on. Too much violence in our city. Why is there violence in our city? Because they have no hope. And with no hope, the people perish. Real talk. If the kids had hope, the love of Jesus in their heart, they wouldn't kill each other. Over an argument. Over an argument. Over Facebook beef. It's silly. But you know what happens? It becomes love of Jesus. I'm here to tell you. All that's going to change in the city of Oakland. His name. Because his love. His love is everything. Jeremiah 31 3. He says, I have loved you with everlasting love. And he says, By my love and kindness have I drawn you. He draws us with his loving kindness. He draws us in. The wrath of God don't save us. The love of God saves us. Anybody wants to receive Christ in their heart, you can today. Don't think about religion. Think about a relationship, what he did on the cross. Forget religion. Religion is dead, yo. It's dead. It's time to get in a relationship. It's dead. Religion is a set of rules we can't. Can't nobody keep the law. But Jesus, the end of the law, it starts with Christ. The Bible tells us that in Romans. Read the word. The end of the law begins with Jesus Christ because he fulfilled it. And what it also says in Romans 13, 8, owe no man anything but to love him. That's all we owe to love, and love others as, as Jesus loves us. It says, no, I no man anything but to love him. For he who loves one another has fulfilled the requirements of the law. So meaning, if I love you with the love of Christ, I, I'm not worried about a set of rules. See, the Holy Spirit leads me away from sin. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not walking this life out trying not to sin in a sense of consciously, oh, I'm not gonna do this, no. The Holy Spirit leads me away because I'm holy through Christ. I'm not holy in myself. But he is holiness. It tells that. It tells that in 2 Corinthians 5.21. It says, He who knew no sin was made sin for us, that we may be might be made the righteousness of God in him. We are the righteousness of God through Christ. So once again, if anybody wants to receive Christ today, you can, you can, you can. God is here. Trinity is here. Let me get close, closer so this won't go out, because I want to do the prayer of salvation. 
I want to do the prayer of salvation. So anybody under the sound of this microphone, if you do the prayer of salvation, sincerely in your heart, trusting in Christ, you will be saved for all eternity. You don't got to be right here in front of me. God knows what's, your heart, what's in your heart. Pray. God knows what's in your heart. So we're going to do the prayer of salvation. If you want to receive Christ, repeat after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I believe that you died on the cross for my sins. Lord Jesus, forgive me of my sins. Lord Jesus, I believe that you rose from the dead for my justification. Lord Jesus, come into my heart, come into my life, be Lord of my life. Lord Jesus, I thank you for saving me. You pray, you pray that prayer, trusting in Christ, you are saved. Jesus said, no man can snatch you out of my hand. 100, the devil can't take you. You belong to Jesus. That means you are protected. You got a force field around you, spiritually. Can't get in. Can't get in. Because you have Christ, you feel me?